in Oracle SEM Cloud, we have a purchase order with three lines ready to be received. Our first item is configured for standard receipt, and we're going to receive that item into a default receiving location and put the item away later with a second process. For the second line, we have direct delivery configured. This lot controlled item will be received and put away in a single step per the configurations in SCM Cloud. The third line is set for standard receipt and is a serialized item, so we're going to follow the same configuration rules as the first line. Back in the order, hovering over the lifecycle icon will display details of each line, and as you can see, they're pending receipt. This information is updated as the transaction occurs, so data is real-time specific. In the receiving process, users have several options to search for a particular PO. DSI's infinitely configurable design process allows for an expansion or contraction of this list based on the desired workflow objectives. So while most POs will be received by number or scannable barcodes, operators are not limited by damaged labels or illegible numbers. Fortunately, the barcode is usable here, and we can scan the PO number, which immediately retrieves the line details. The list is clickable or can be scanned with an item number to start the receipt process. Scanning the first item will display the default receiving sub-inventory. Operators can optionally choose another sub-inventory as needed. Accepting the location will prompt a locator number. Again, this is default and can be changed if necessary. Once selected, a receipt quantity is prompted and the operator enters the quantity received. Once confirmed, the transaction is processed in real time confirmation message displays a successful transaction. The next item in the PO is lot control and has rules governing direct delivery. Upon scanning the item, the user is moved directly to the sub-inventory, which can be scanned and verified at the location. Of course, a suggested locator is provided and overrides allowed if necessary. Considering this is a lot controlled item, the operator will be prompted with a scan enabled lot entry field followed by a quantity. And once successful, the flow moves to the third and final item. This line contains a standard receipt for a serialized item, so we'll follow the same rules as before, suggested receiving location, locator, and quantity. Unlike the lot controlled item, which was configured for direct delivery, this serial item is set up for standard delivery. The serial number will be captured when the item is put away. And once completed, the operator is notified that all lines have been received. Refreshing the order in SCM Cloud will display the results of the transaction. Two of the items have been received and staged for put away. The other item has been delivered to a sub inventory. We'll now pivot over to putting the items away. Put away allows operators to choose the method of finding items for stowage. In this case, we're going to choose to locate items by the order number. Scanning the order number, a list of items for put away is displayed. After selecting the item, the operator can scan a sub inventory and choose the appropriate locator. The put away happens in real time. For the serialized item, serial numbers are requested as part of the put away process. For ease of use, the process provides a serial range option, which will allow all of the serials to be captured sequentially within a specified range, greatly speeding up the put away process for serialized items. Once successfully submitted, the order may be refreshed in SCM Cloud and the current information displayed will be correct.